Carly stopped by. She's going crazy. Part of it's the bus crash. Uh, right and I should remember that. I should remember that and be a little nicer. Well, Carly has no right to disrespect you. I know. Ever. I know, Jason, and I can stand up to Carly, but I understand why she's mad at me for introducing Abby to Michael. I just thought it was the best solution. Well, you know, at first I didn't really agree with it, but... I mean, Abby has done more for Michael than anybody else. I but I just got Carly calmed down, and when she finds out that Michael went to Vaughn, she's going to go oh, absolutely God. crazy. Jason, don't tell her. If Michael was your son, wouldn't you want to know? Yeah, of course. I mean, just last night I was, you know, playing with Jake. And, uh, you know, he was, he was a lot like Michael at that age. I just, I just remember it so... Clearly reading and, and playing cars and taking him to the park and, you know, always wondering what Michael's life would be like. Who exactly Michael would grow up to be. Here we are. Here we are. But look, Michael is a survivor and you taught him that. So, for everything that you think you did wrong, you've got to start giving yourself credit for the things that you did right. I'm just thankful that Jake's not going to have to go through with my glass. I told you, when I'm at the club, I'm not even myself. I am Candy. I mean, she is the one who does the dancing and the stripping, and I, mean, I don't even see who's in the audience. I shouldn't have went to the club. I told you. No, you know what? Go. You shouldn't have, Michael. Okay. No, it's not okay, Abby. I went back on a promise that I don't want to be the kind of guy who does that. Like, what you want isn't important. Everything about you is important to me. I've never felt anything like I feel when I'm with you. You are amazing. You're amazing, Michael. I would have been so sad if you walked out tonight and I never okay. saw you I'm again. Not walk out. I need you, Abby. You're the only one. Lucky. Hey. Hey. You mad at me? No. No, I'm not mad at you. I just... I just wish you would have told me how serious your immigration problems are, you know? Huh. In case you haven't noticed, I'm very independent. Oh, I've noticed. I believe in taking care of little troubles before they become bigger problems. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all great. It's just... just made me feel like, like an outsider, you know? Like, um, you can't come to me if, if you need help with something. Look at you. Your brow all furrowed. There's there's nothing you can do about my troubles, Lucky Spencer. Sure, sure there is. I could marry you. <laughs> what? Come okay. on. I'm okay, just look at it this way. If if immigration is about to ship you off and you're in dire need of a green card marriage, I'm the first in line. Forsaken all others. For richer, for poorer, for better, or for worse. For as long as we both shall live. Brent. Who? You okay? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, go on, go on. Go back to sleep, it's okay. All right. All right. 